What's good, YouTube and life gamers? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is hell host, bringing you guys life gains and trying to help you understand what is going on in your world politically. I try so many different things on my channel and I've got a group of younger subscribers that I want to start understanding how politics affects their day-to-day -day life and I'm trying to do that by going over policies and issues like that via gameplay. What we're talking about today is last week our President of the United States signed an executive order basically kind of rebutting some of the things that happened on the Obama health care. I just want to try to break that down in layman's terms so that you can understand what it really means and how it affects you. And first things first, he X'd out a portion of this bill that in essence had it where specific groups of people could pool together their monies well now you can do that again and I had that coverage back when I had uh, a business before Obama health care I was in what they call a risk pool so basically individual groups of maybe let's say your uh, mechanics business lobby group or church religious groups can now pool their insurances together and pool their monies together to get cheaper insurance. Plans are going to be cheaper. Um, the mandate that Obama Healthcare had in it will not apply. This allows healthcare to cost less, but the side effect of that is you're going to get a less comprehensive plan, meaning that if something goes wrong, you have some really huge health detriment you're going to be in serious trouble in terms of what you're going to have to pay. And the other thing that it allowed for was Obama Healthcare tried to tie together all the crux of the system by making sure that young people had to contribute. Because, you know, a lot of us young folks, we don't want to buy health insurance until we get scared to something happens or if we have an illness like me and I'm an asthmatic. And so what the other thing that this affects is within this new executive order that our great president signed. It allows young people to get cheap policies that don't really cover anything. And if you do get into trouble and you need to have something covered, um, you're going to have to just pay out the wallet when that event happens. Um, to break it down, who does it really hurt? If you're past the age of 45, if you're in poverty, or if you're someone with a pre-existing condition, you're pretty much fucked. Ain't nowhere around it, as it stands right now with his executive order. And you know, nobody has really had a bona fide answer to try to solve the healthcare issue. They've been trying to work on this for years. They haven't been able to come to an agreement. And we all understand that in the background, what's playing behind all this is people trying to get paid. And that, in essence kind of hurts what should be the number one crucial issue and that is for the quality and the longevity of us the Americans lives. What should be going on is more money time and effort should be spent in figuring out how we can reduce the cost of the overall healthcare system as well as what can we do to put some money into preventative measures. Preventative measures would help the healthcare system. If you can incentivize people to maybe live a healthier lifestyle, um, do the things that they can control. I know you can't control your genetics if you get something that's genetic, but you can control your lifestyle. And we should be incentivizing people to do that. One state um, mentioned that I read and heard on Clark Howard was Minnesota. They have what you call a reinsurance fund where People are paying their basic insurances at a pretty good price, and then they've got a pool of money set aside for people that if you get stricken with some kind of detrimental illness, it'll take care of you. I think that is a good thing because it helps costs. And what I am afraid of is going to happen with Trump's executive order is there are a lot of people that own businesses or a lot of people that are independent contractors that are about to get screwed because they're not going to be able to afford the health care that they're going to have to give as of January when this thing takes place. So my young people, this is my cry to you to stay informed, 
watch what's happening with politics as we're doing this over me gameplay and dishonored i'm trying to figure out ways to keep you engaged and get you engaged and if i have to do that via gameplay then that's just a sacrifice that i'm going to have to make but going forward, I'll be putting out more videos over gameplay, things like that, trying to give you guys topics that give you lasting gains and not so much of that Cody bullshit that only gives you short-term gains. So do some reading up on what has happened with our healthcare because it is very important to you. And at some point in time, we all are going to have to use healthcare. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a live game. Please check my video description box for links I've got down there for great services. Some of them are free. My past videos, and you get a chance to see everything this channel is about. This channel is more than just streaming technology. It's fitness, it's politics, it's everything that can give you a life game. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel please take your cursor click the subscribe button if you want to receive an alert every time i drop a new video click the little bell and if you want to connect with me on facebook you can click this button if you want to connect with me on my other social media i got a button for you here a button for you here and if you're one of those people that want to make a donation donations can be made through my patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains you can also get private videos done this is how you can support my channel just click here and become a patreon and you will continue to get great content bye like